Welcome to JSA TV and JSA Podcasts, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Okataya here at JSA and coming to you from virtual PTC 2021. Joining me today, my good friend, Ben Edmund. He's the CEO of Connected to Fiber. Ben, welcome to JSA TV again. <laughs> Thank you very much for having me, Jamie. I really appreciate the opportunity to speak today. It's always a pleasure and, and happy new year, my friend. So much has yes. gone on since the last time we chatted. Yeah, I wish we were at the, the beach in Hawaii, but uh, we'll, we'll be there virtually. We shall, we shall. Um, and for our viewers who may not already know, if they're just catching up, tell, tell us a little bit about Connected to Fiber. What do you do? Who do you serve? A absolutely. So Connected to Fiber is a industry cloud built specifically for the connectivity market. Uh, uh, we help uh, service providers identify, prioritize, and uh, search their total addressable market and have activated a, uh, a seller's cloud and a buyer's cloud to help you know, transform how companies sell connectivity and how companies buy connectivity. Our customer base is uh, entirely made up of the service provider community that's present here at the, uh, the PTC event this year. For sure, for sure. And of course, 2020, you guys had a heck of a lot of news coming out of your newsroom. What is the latest coming out of the Connected to Fiber newsroom today? Uh, we had some exciting announcements, uh, you know, uh, most recently a uh, press release that uh, we issued with our partnership for, uh, for Newstar, uh, which is an exciting move forward, uh, tying the automation that, uh, that we create around pricing inside the connected world with the automation that they brought uh, for many years to the market on order management processes across the ecosystem and bringing those two worlds together in a directly uh, uh, connected API flow uh, for end-to-end -end automation. You know, super exciting and something we're really proud of. Awesome, yeah, New Star, US Signal. There's, there's just so many logos that you guys have been uh, making news waves with and uh, uh, as per my connected to fiber teams, uh, usual way to market. Um, now, of course, having the CEO in the hot seat, I do love to just give a moment for predictions. Any thoughts or, or predictions around industry trends coming up here uh, in 2021 specific to your niche? Yeah, absolutely. Great question, Jamie. I think there's three things that stand out to me. First and foremost is uh, the year of the edge. You know, the edge is a real thing that's happening now. I think uh, people are you know, wrapping their heads around that thought process and realizing it's not just the physical reality of where to place data centers and put the content and the applications closer to the users. There's also a fundamental change in network that is happening. You can't uh, use edge locations as aggregation points to bring everything back still to Ashburn. That uh, the peering fabric to connect those applications at the edge or the content at the edge to the users in the mobile community or on broadband applications, you know, that peering fabric has to exist locally in the edge as well. And that's a big radical change, but a change that's really important for next generation 5G applications we haven't even seen yet. Uh -huh. I think the, the second trend uh, would be centered around, you know, the role of the MSP and, and who's becoming an MSP as the cloud has won the IT war uh, the recognition that uh, that network is the primary delivery for cloud services and the cloud services don't work without connectivity is put the, the managed service provider in a uh, in a great position to attack the revenue opportunity and, you know, uniquely position uh, uh, connectivity to help win that uh, cloud services revenue with enterprise customers. I think the, the third trend is digital transformation overall. It's a it's a big buzzword. You know, from our perspective, it's about automating and creating a customer experience that differentiates and uh, and allows the connectivity industry to, you know, grab more value, participate fully, and really, you know, create these sticky relationships that generate uh, fantastic returns for the providers themselves. And, you know, we're helping do that. We're helping the providers, you know, transform their upfront go-to-market processes completely. Yeah, absolutely. We're seeing it here too. I think uh, for better or for worse, the pandemic has really 
uh, fast fast tracked this digital transformation for, for many businesses and, and residents. Um, so uh, so really uh, incredible predictions there. I'm I'm very much a fan. Um, and from a connected to fiber perspective in 2021, what can our viewers expect to see from your company? Uh, you're going to see a lot. Uh, you know, we've been busy over the last five years since the existence of uh, connected to fiber, you know, growing faster than 98% uh, of all SaaS companies in existence and something we're really proud of. I think, you know, from a 2021 perspective, you're going to see uh, significantly more growth. Um, as we expand uh, geographically, as we expand uh, the use cases to support the service provider community that we care so much about. I think introduction of new capabilities around uh, concepts like bid management, where we're uh, you know, not just automating transactional success, but uh, really helping systematically attack major transformation projects or large uh, awards and keeping the ecosystem uh, communicating with intelligence. I think we'll see a move to uh, to serviceability checks to real-time inventory in 2021, which will be a big milestone for the industry as we, you know, mitigate fallout and really help, you know, get people to uh, align network services with the reality of cloud where you can click a button and get an instant response. I love that. It is certainly a growth story, one that we're proud to uh, to report on and uh, tell our viewers who might be listening, and of course they wanna go ahead and learn more about Connected to Fiber, where can they go? Absolutely, so uh, welcome you to come out to our website, uh, uh, connectedtofiber.com, that is to the digit to uh, fiber.com, uh, or go to LinkedIn, our company profile has uh, the latest and greatest on a daily basis, and uh, yeah, we appreciate the, uh, the opportunity to tell our story. And there you go, Connected to fiber.com and by the way great new website we love the new look i uh, love it too so thank you for that <laughs> yeah uh so uh ben as always we appreciate your time and insight some great predictions there and we look forward to more news ahead from connected to fiber and thank you viewers for tuning in to jsa tv and jsa podcasts as always happy networking <laughs>